Good morning. Good morning. A warm welcome to everyone in our Savior's name. God gathers us on this third Sunday of Advent to receive renewal through the gifts of the Word and music. For today our worship takes the form of our annual Advent Christmas cantata. And its theme this year is tidings of comfort and joy. With the words of scripture readings, reflections, and the music taking the place of our sermon this morning. Thank you to Kaya Ranta for directing it and for being on keyboards. John Statlander for setting up the audio vision once more and for being on percussion. And to our returning guests, soloist Nancy Berglund and violinist Kyleen. And we'll end by joining in part of the traditional Santa Lucia song. And even though we cannot have a procession again this year, we'll celebrate the coming light. I've got in the midst of the darkness, but we're going to celebrate the coming light in the midst of the sunny morning. Santa Lucia Day, December 13th, is observed in Scandinavian countries as it was in our former Emmanuel Lutheran Church. We also welcome those watching the service later on our YouTube channel. On Saturdays, we continue to email the worship and sermon files and post them on our website. Next Sunday, December 19th, is the fourth Sunday of Advent as we gather to share the gift of Holy Communion. And our quartet will be offering special music for the opening song. Just a few announcements today because of our special service. Our next virtual fellowship session is today at 1 p.m. And if you didn't receive the Zoom invitation but want to, want to attend, please let me know. Congregational singing is once more allowed in our safety plan. However, it is discouraged when the active cases rise above the rate of 80 per 100,000. And we're just above this right now in the district. So please, if you desire to sing, sing only in a soft lullaby voice or hum, and of course, while wearing your mask. And hopefully we'll be able to once more sing together a little more loudly in the weeks ahead. The flowers on the altar today are given by Karen Bishop in thanksgiving for the anniversary of her marriage with Sean. Please read the announcements in the bulletin and online for this week and the week ahead. They include the Advent Christmas Epiphany Children's Activity Bags are now available, and they can be picked up in the church in the front hall and will also be dropping them off. You are welcome for one or both of the remaining sessions of the midweek Advent study, Finding Faith in the Story of the Grinch. And we meet virtually by Zoom this Wednesday from 7 to 8.30 p.m. And the topic is When Light Shines. And the Zoom invitation was mailed on Saturday. Please contact me if you didn't receive it. Once again this year, we invite you to donate poinsettias in memory or honor of someone to decorate our sanctuary for Christmas Eve. The deadline for ordering is Monday, December the 20th. Council members, your reports package for Tuesday meeting at 5 p.m. is in your mailbox this morning. Our special music for our opening hymn that we'll listen to, Ma'oning Kaunis, finish the translation, The Earth is So Beautiful, and we've included the translation that you may follow along as Kaya plays it. And we've found that this, the tune will be familiar to even the people that don't know the Finnish, but we found that this, this tune and many different words are so loved by so many people. So we share it for the opening song. <laughs>
reading for this morning, the child shall be called Emmanuel, and we will all share tidings of comfort and joy. The peace of God which passes all understanding, the love of Christ that, that guards our hearts and minds, and the joy and consolation of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And we listen to our opening song, actually we sing our opening song, He Came Down. Is from Isaiah 11 verses 1 to 9. A shoot shall come out from the stalk of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. The Spirit of the Lord will be upon him, the Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and might, shall rest on the Spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. His delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. He shall not judge by what his eyes see or decide by what his ears hear, but with righteousness he shall judge the poor. She shall strike the earth with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips he shall kill the wicked. Righteousness shall be the belt around his waist, and faithfulness the belt around his loins. The wolf shall live with the lamb, the leopard shall lie with the kid, the calf and the lion and the fatling together, and a little child shall lead them, the cow and the bear shall graze, their young shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The nursing child shall play over the hole of the asp, and the wean child shall put its hand on the adder's den. They will not hurt or destroy on all my holy mountain, for the earth will be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
second reading is from John 1st, verses 6 to 8. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. He came as a witness to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light, the true light, which enlightens everyone who was coming into the world. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Comfort ye my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem, and proclaim that her warfare is over. A voice of one that cries in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord. This prophecy of Isaiah and his words of comfort were intended to comfort a people in distress. He proclaims a word of comfort and encouragement to prepare the way of the Savior of the people. Today we hear this message echoing in the music of Handel's Messiah. about what he was to proclaim 
and where he was to go to make this proclamation. God gives these simple instructions. Go to the highest mountain and proclaim the good news. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. Amy Grant's song, Breath of Heaven, explores the range of emotions that Mary must have felt upon hearing from the angel Gabriel that she was to be the mother of God.
when the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. Please join in singing away in the manger, traditionally called Luther's Cradle Hymn. We'll sing the first two stanzas.
Suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, The angel chorus resounded through the skies in a song that proclaimed Jesus' birth to the shepherds. And we can now join our voices in the chorus of angels as we sing Angels We Have Heard on High on page 5.
Nancy and Kai and John and Kaya for leading us in this cantata, Tidings of Comfort and Joy. And let us thank them appropriately. I know Kai and Nancy are always welcome here. <laughs> Not even to sing and to play, just to be, just to listen. Let us pray. Continue with the prayers of intercession on page 6. And this Sunday, in our Lutherans Together prayer cycle, we remember our full communion partners the, and the primate of the Anglican Church of Canada and its national church staff. We also remember those devastated by the tornadoes and other weather in the American Midwest and in southern Ontario this last couple of days. Let us pray. Holy God, renew your church and raise up leaders who announce your good news. Guide the work of the Primate of the Anglican Church of Canada, Archbishop Linden, and its national church staff. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. Creating God, your Spirit brought forth the earth and all that is in it. Breathe life into us that we are inspired to live in harmony with one another and the planet. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. Nurturing God, you come near in times of worry and need. Cradle us in your arms, that we trust you and are not afraid. Be with those recovering from the tornadoes and wild weather this past week those who are grieving loved ones, and those who are still waiting to hear the news of whether they are alive or dead. Attend to any who are hungry, imprisoned, or ill this day. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. Compassionate God, you invite us to pray for others. This morning, these include Alan, Micah, Ray, and Eleanor. Elizabeth, Karen, Glenn, and Keith. Matthew, June, Carol, and Paula. Ron, Cindy, Judy, and Tammy. <clears throat> Carrie Lynn, Harvey, Art, and Lillian. Dory, Chris, Ardeth, and Grace. Eleanor, Audrey, Daniel, and Michael. Karen, Janice, Elf, and Donna. Renee, Lawrence, Rob, and Levi. Leah, Lisa, Nick, and Kathleen. Donna May, Nicole, Joan, and Tina. Elaine, Catherine, Susan, and Ron. Linda, Shelley, Rayland, and Nell. Taylor, Jeff, Barry, and Diane. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. Ever near God, be with us as we offer you now our silent prayers. <clears throat> Hear us, O God, your mercy is great. Rejoicing God, you exalt over us in music. We give you thanks for the ministry of our musicians, including our special guests today, Kai and Nancy. Join our voices, however softly we must sing, to the song of all creation. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. We give you thanks for your servants who showed us your goodness and grace. By the power of your Spirit, keep us steadfast in faith until we make our home with you. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. God of new life, you come among us in the places we least expect. Receive these prayers and those of our hearts in the name of Jesus. Amen. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. For a gift shared and received this week, let us pray. God of our waiting and watching, we offer the gifts of our hearts and of our lives to the service of all your people. Prepare the way before us through Christ Jesus, our pathway and our peace. Amen. Now receive God's blessing. The peace of God accompany your waiting. The light of Christ warm your hearts and the joy of the Spirit fill you with hope. Amen. We sing together two of the English verses of Sancta Lucia. Good news. Thanks. Thanks.